just a little background. She's my sister. I don't even call her a friend. She's my sis. That's how I know her. And so since we're so close, she knows that this is really difficult for me to do in front of you all. But for Shonda, I'll stand in front of a moving train. So one night, I attended a, an open mic night with Shonda and she read a poem she aptly titled The Train. And I was struck by this, or not the train, the poem, because it talked about her resilience. Once she's on track, nothing can stop her. This award from the Arts Council of Greater New Haven represents the dedication and passion found in Shonda to find resilience everywhere she goes. Shonda has a fierce appetite for knowing people, knowing who they are, hearing them. Those of you who know her, mostly family, know that she's always present when you're around her, which is why children usually gravitate toward her youthful energy because she knows that she sees them, she hears them, and she understands them. I'm proud of you and the examples you've set for the people around you. You make us all better. And I can say for everyone in here, we love you, we appreciate you, and you make us all better. Ladies and gentlemen, family, friends, I present this award from the Arts Council of Greater New Haven to Shonda Sakai Holloway. <laughs> Wow, beautiful. Beautiful. Wow, thank you, thank you so much. Um, first of all, I wanna just thank God for, for giving me the strength to have resilience. I wanna thank my uncle for just being who he is, you know? I remember for coming back and visiting my mother and it was him her mother, my grandmother, and we were in a car and we're driving across the Grand Avenue Bridge. And my uncle said to me, no matter what you do, just don't ever give up. And it's because of that statement that I stand here today. I'm so grateful. My Aunt Paula, just consistent. Everybody in this room have been people who have been consistent. Consistency and resiliency are one and the same. I dedicate this award to my parents, my grandmother Cecilia, my grandmother Jackie, my cousin Todd, who always had my back. I wanna thank people who know true sisterhood. Lillian Ocasio, Rosa Rivera, Ladora Redmond. I wanna thank my friend Bernard, who just a true, true friend. My cousin Mike, every time I need something, one call, you know? My cousin Daya, when I call her, she says this, what do you need me to do? You know, not what do you need me to do? What do you need me to do? Like, she's on it. I wanna thank Creative Arts Workshop. You know, the day my grandmother gave me the money to, to pay for that class, little did I know that I was entering into a community. I've had such wonderful experiences. I've met such wonderful people. I want to thank my friend Basil Wheat. He said something to me that changed my life. He said, Shonda, this is not a wait for it world. This is a go get it world. And when you have a friend like that, who is, inspires you to go beyond your limitations, your comfort zone, you truly have a friend. And thank you to the Arts Council, CAW, and anybody else that supports the arts. Um, the Arts in New Haven has come a long way, and uh, I'm grateful to be a part of it. Thank you. Thank you.